All right, so suppose terminal uh, angle T terminates in quadrant three, so one, two, three. This will be T, because I'm going to make this my reference triangle. They told me cosine, so that would be adjacent over hypotenuse, so this is two over three. So negative two, because it's going to the left, so that would be negative two over three. And I need to, to find sine and tangent, so I need to first find my other leg. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I know one leg, so we'll just call it a. All right, so b equals the square root of 5, so that's this leg right here. So finding sine, sine of t, be square root 5 over 3, tangent of t is going to be square root 5 over negative 2. But wouldn't it be negative square root 5? It is. Okay, so I was about to, I was about to say, now, now that we know, all students take calculus, double check your signs every time. So all students take. In this, it, in this quadrant, sine should be negative and tangent should be positive. And it's because the, the square root of 5 is negative and so is the square root of 2. So my two negatives cancel out on my tangent. So double check your signs every time. Especially on my labs because you're going to be like, I did it right, I set up my triangle right, and it's going to be a sign that you missed. So double check yourself every time. Okay, so now we're, we're going to get number 10. Uh, the terminal side of angle A passes through 0, 4. Where is 0, 4? Uh, it's on the y-axis. It's on the y-axis, right? It's straight up. So if you think about that, there's no way for me to draw a reference triangle because it's 90 degrees, and we just talked about that. You can't, it doesn't work. It's, a, it's a, a, one of those quadrantal angles. So, but you can still set up ratios based on this. Sine is y over r, cosine is x over r, and tangent is y over x. So instead of having a triangle to actually look at, we just have to know that that's what it is. So if the radius is what goes around and makes our triangle, and it has a dot at 0, 4, how long is the radius? Four. Four. So my radius is four. And my ordered pair is zero, four. So this is my zero, four is my x and my y, and my r is four. So sine is y is y over radius, y over r. So four over four, which is one. Cosine is x over r, which is 0. Tangent, uh-oh, is y over x. 4 over 0. Nope. nope. That's undefined. Remember, you can't divide by 0. Tangent's undefined. Cotangent is 0 over 4, and that's okay. Secant, uh-oh is 4 over 0, and that's undefined. Cosecant is 4 over 4, which is 1. And it asks if they match in the calculator. They do. If you put in, I don't know if that shows up, but if you put in sine of 90, you get 1. If you put in cosine, you get 0. If you put in tangent of 90, you get undefined. Or error. I actually, I don't even know. I haven't tried it on this calculator. What does it say? Domain, domain error. Domain error. Yeah. Because 0 is not in the domain of tangent. There's an asymptote there. You'll learn that. So how would you put, like, secant or the cosine? Oh, we'll get there. When you need to. On the Mm-hmm. You don't really, but... Find 
the six trigonometric functions of the angle Q in standard position if the terminal side of Q is defined by this line and X is greater than or equal to zero? Hmm. Okay, so um, I was just going to say. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in slope intercept form. I think we should. I'm just gonna say you don't have to, but I think we should. So put it in slope intercept form real quick, which means get y by itself. Now, I want you to think for just a second about this line. What's the y-intercept of this line? Zero. Which means where does it start? Zero. At the origin, right? Yeah. And the slope is? One half. Negative one half, which yeah. means from the origin you go down and to the right. So if you imagine drawing this line, what two quadrants is this line in? Four. Two. two and four, right? It's in, in quadrants two and four. Well, they specifically told me that x is greater than, than or equal to zero. So that would be just four. So it's in quadrant four. So that means that my um, that my thing is in quadrant four. So so what we're going to do is we're going to just pick an x value and plug it in and get a y value. So. Any x value that's greater than or equal to zero. Let's don't use zero. Let's use let's use something that'll cancel and make whole numbers. How about? Two. Let's use two. That's a good idea. Two. So if I plug in two. Two negative two? I got two negative oh, one. Oh, but negative one, I'm sorry. So this will be my x and my y. So if that's my x and my y, let's find our radius. And now I can find sine, cosine, and tangent. We have to find our little inverses too. Yeah. So sine is, the, is negative 1 over the square root of 5. You have to rationalize. And then before I say that I'm done, I'm going to remind myself, all students take calculus. We just determined that I'm in quadrant four. So if I'm in quadrant four, the only thing that should be positive is cosine and cosine's buddy. Everything else should be negative. So I've got cosine that's positive and secant that's positive. Just uh, quadrantal angles. If the terminal side of the quadrantal angle lies on the y-axis, then tangent and secant are undefined. If the terminal side is on the x-axis, then it's cotangent and cosecant that are undefined because of what? Because of the zero value. I just plug it in every time. So. This is just 
just a table, um, but you have a calculator, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because <laughs> you can plug it in. If it, gives you if it gives you a domain error, that means it's undefined. Otherwise, it'll give you the answer, as long as you make sure you're in the right thing. Uh, reciprocal identities, we just we talked about these, but I want you to see them written this way. So we talked about that we could just flip sine over. Sine was um, y over r, and then to make sine into cosecant, we flipped it over, so it's r over y. But the other way that you could write that is that sine can be written as 1 over cosecant, and cosecant can be written as 1 over sine, because they're reciprocals of each other. And that's all that this information means. Um, that can help us with things. So using the reciprocal identities, find each function value. It says cosine, find cosine of theta given that secant of theta is 5 over 3. Well don't know that it could get much easier because they're buddies, which means if secant is 5 over 3, cosine is 3 over 5. Find sine, given that cosecant is negative square root 12 over 2, so sine would be negative 2 over the square root of 12, which we do have to rationalize, and by the way, simplify, because square root of 12 has a perfect square in it. I'll simplify it. Hold on. First, 2 goes into both of these, and square root of 12 is 4 times 3, so that would be negative 2 square root 3 over 6. Oh, and that simplifies even further. So it's negative square root 3 over 3. We could have simplified it before we flipped it. I just didn't. Sorry. I probably should have. But this is fine. Are you all good? Mm -hmm. So far? I mean, this is a lot of information <laughs> in one day. It's a lot. But it's all in the same section. So, okay. Again, this is just another way for them to write, to do the all students take calculus thing, for you to know what's positive, where. Um, so if you want to get into that old chart, and great, more power to you. I prefer just to think about it, like, but whatever, however it works for you. So they're asking us to figure out the signs of the trigonometric functions for all of these. So I'm just going to write them down. And all we're doing is writing whether they're positive or negative. We don't care what they are, we just want to write whether they're positive or negative. So, yeah. is that better? Okay, so what quadrant is 87 in? One. one. Oh. So, all. so they're all positive. Um, 300, what quadrant is that? Four. So, quadrant four calculus, that's just cosine is positive, and cosine is buddy secant. And everything else is negative. All right. Two. Negative 200. Two. Quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, all students, that's sine only, sine and cosecant, because they're buddies. Everything else is negative. All right. I actually love these. I think these are fun. Identify the quadrant or possible quadrants, so there could be two, of an angle Q that satisfies the given condition. Okay, so first, they give us two conditions. Sine is greater than zero, which means sine is positive. So that already limits me to what two quadrants? Two. One or two, because that's the two quadrants where sine is positive, right? And then the next thing says, okay, but tangent is less than zero. So what quadrant am I talking about? Two. Two, because remember, everything's positive in quadrant okay. one. Are you all okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I think they're like little puzzles. It's fun. Okay, so this one says cosine is less than zero. So, so think for just a second. That means cosine is negative. It's not 
It's not quadrant four or quadrant one, because so it has to be two and three. And then secant is also negative. Oh yeah. It's still just two and three. We don't know because cosine and secant are the same. That tells us the same thing. All that does is narrow it down to two and three because cosine and secant are buddies. Okay. Are there any questions where all six trigonometric functions are negative? No. No. Why not? Because the first two have a hypotenuse. And how do you get a hypotenuse? From Pythagorean theorem. From squaring, so squaring the two legs. And so if you square those to get your, your hypotenuse, is going to be positive every time. So that's why there's no all negatives. Um, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, all that garble de <laughs> I don't know why it does that sometimes. Some font stuff doesn't work. Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Okay. It's just more of the same. We'll talk, we'll talk a lot about domain range later. Okay, so decide whether each... Oh, okay, I guess I do need it right now. Let me go see which things I'm supposed to be, which symbols I'm supposed to be giving you. I'm not good at set builder notation because I don't like it. I don't really, I don't... I stopped using it a long time ago. Yeah, interval is so much easier. It makes, I don't know. Not that it makes more sense, I guess, but it's just sort of easy. Less Oh, I see. It's supposed to be absolute value. Oh, it is absolute value bars, but it's hard to tell that. Okay, so this means this is the long line that's in set builder notation. Y is the set of all real numbers such that the absolute value of Y is less than or equal to 1, which in interval notation is just negative 1 to 1. You'll see when we start to do the graphs why that is. Um, tangent is y is the set of all real numbers such that y is a real number, <laughs> which just means negative infinity to positive infinity, not negative yin to positive in case you wanted to ask in Japanese, secant theta and cosecant theta. This is y is a set of all real numbers such that the absolute value of y is greater than or equal to 1, which is negative infinity to 1 in union with 1 to infinity. Weird. So decide whether or not each statement is possible. Sine of theta equals 2.5. No, because look at what sine has to be between negative 1 and 1. So 2.5 is too big. Tangent the, is all real numbers, so that'll work. Secant, that works. Wait. 0.6. Oh, wait, I wrote this wrong. This is negative 1. It doesn't work. I was thinking. That doesn't work. I was like, uh, well, I, I, negative I, it's so funny because when I drew it, I thought, why would it have a bracket and they would be equal? Like, there's no reason for that. No. I was just wondering, wouldn't that be all real numbers? No. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it when I wrote it, but I just, I don't know what, where the negative went in my head. It went away. Okay. Um, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. Yay. Okay. 
Suppose that angle Q is in quadrant 2 and sine is 2 thirds. Find the values. Oh, do it real quick. We've done a bunch of these already. You can do this. I just realized I put these backwards on my picture. That's why. I was like, why did that happen? Because the, um, the opposite piece is negative too. Okay. <laughs> the two is not negative two. It's, uh, uh, it's negative square root five. Sorry. <laughs> so my signs are actually right on my yeah. things. They're wrong on my picture because I drew my picture wrong. What did I get? Trying to wish. Y'all, we're going to stop right there. I don't know if y'all are going to have any on the, the last little bit on this, any questions on this assignment, but if you do, don't worry, we'll get it tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. I don't see y'all tomorrow, do I? I forgot. Monday. Monday. Yeah, you don't have to be here. That's the teacher's deal.